Welcome here, in this short clip, I will explain the story of top listed movie from 1965. In 1930s Austria, a young lady named Maria is bombing wretchedly in her endeavors to turn into a religious recluse. At the point when naval force commander George von Trapp keeps in touch with the nunnery requesting a tutor that can deal with his seven devilish kids, Maria is given the work. His better half is dead, he is frequently away, and he runs the family as rigorously as he does the boats he cruises on. The youngsters are troubled and angry of the tutors that he continues to recruit and have figured out how to show every one of them off coordinated. At the point when Maria shows up, she is at first met with a similar aggression, yet her generosity, understanding, and feeling of tomfoolery before long attracts the kids to her and brings some truly necessary happiness into for their entire lives. Through music and different excursions, Maria provides the kids with a sample of a really satisfying, cheerful, life than they have at any point known, and they come to cherish her profoundly. The chief develops nearer to his kids, as well, coming to comprehend the worth and magnificence of the opportunities that Maria has given them. Amusingly, the opportunity, everything being equal, to carry on with their lives to the fullest is in harm's way, for it is 1938, and Germany is walking into Austria. The skipper is a loyalist, energetic about the satisfying life that Austria has consistently offered its residents. In his own life, the chief is having a sentiment with a well-off, developed, and beautiful noble, Eleanor Parker, however he is turning out to be increasingly more enraptured by Maria, and is going gaga for her, and she, as well, feels developing fondness for him. She is a pious devotee, notwithstanding, and uneducated in managing what is happening. Scared by the turns of events, Maria runs back to the cloister where the Reverend Mother persuades her that she should confront, as opposed to run from, the circumstance, making Maria return to the skipper's home. It appears, however, that she is past the point of no return, discovering that the chief and the aristocrat have become locked in. The chief, who had clearly reasoned that he would never have Maria for a spouse, trusts to the noble that he cherishes Maria. However, the aristocrat concedes she had detected it quite a while in the past and the commitment is cancelled. The commander and Maria wed, however a terrible circumstance befronts them upon get back from their special first night the chief has been brought, in a wire, by the Third Reich to serve in its naval force. Because of the chief's reluctance to serve the Third Reich, the commander and Maria resolve to leave Austria, and in the wake of getting away from the quest for a few Nazi officials, they set out, with the youngsters, for the mountains of Switzerland by walking. 